everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your new shot. I wanted to share with everybody today a video that one of the few, there are a few power couples out there in independent media. There really are. And I can think of a couple right off the bat. You know, I like to consider my wife and I pretty a pretty powerful force for good in that she's really the research behind everything that I do, a lot of it. And then I'm basically just the mouthpiece, you know, that's, that's how it is. And, um, Aaron and Melissa Dykes, just tremendously powerful, you know, when forces like that come together. Well, another one out there that a lot of people may have heard of, maybe not, is PopeyeFederalJack.com and then Radchick. And, uh, you can check out their work, FederalJack.com. They also go by the name Team Radeye. And it's something that they came up with uh, basically in an approach to bring awareness to what's going on with our health with relation to radiation, specifically from places like Fukushima and these nuclear plants that are just leaking nuclear uh, waste and material, you know, uh, and then, of course, chemtrails, cesium, barium, strontium being sprayed into the atmosphere. Well, one of the things that they talked about and in this uh, video that uh, Christina and Popeye produced, they talk about the Wigner effect and, and it was a uh, uh, something that I also participated in and you'll hear uh, it was an interview that I did with uh, Popeye a little while ago and it's just a very interesting thing. It's one of those things you don't really think about. But again, just like I was talking the other day about radio frequency and how all radiation, no matter what it is, the damage is cumulative over time. Um, a gentleman by the name of Eugene Wigner actually came up with this and found how over time radiation can break down the molecular structure of a lot of materials. A lot of things that they saw were like in airplanes, for example. Just very interesting. And then Lorraine Moray, she is a uh, accomplished scientist. She's done a lot of research into this and the information is unbelievable. So I want to share this with you now. And it's a video that was done a little while ago, but I think very relevant considering what we're seeing on the West Coast, I think the San Diego Tribune just recently reported that there was a school of uh, sharks that ju- were just, they were dying over on the West Coast. And it was very much akin to what you would see with radiation poisoning. I don't know. The world we live in is changing. But check this out and uh, go ahead, subscribe uh, to this uh, YouTube channel. And I'll put it in the description box below. And also over, uh, check out Popeye's website, federaljack.com. Here it is. Fukushima. The ever-lovable Christina Consolo, a.k.a. Radchick, who teaches me new things on a daily basis, taught me a little thing about something that's called the Wigner effect. Now, I'm only going to give it a, a glossing over here tonight, but you should all go to her YouTube channel, Radchick. Just look her up on YouTube. You can't miss her. Just type in Radchick channel. It'll bring up the channel, and you can click on it and subscribe. And she did a series with Lorraine Murray, uh, and uh, this huge interview she did with her about Wigner, this, the Wigner effect, and what I'm about to talk about a little bit. And it gets more in detail, and she shows uh, different cases to, you know, evidence to back up what she's, what they're both talking about and discussing. And you know, this is something that's been known since they started doing nuke testing. So, anyway, and I can't remember the name of the doctor. His last name was Wigner, but I can't remember exactly, hence the, you know, the Wigner. Did you say Wigner or Wigner? Well, I guess that's how you'd say it if you had the German accent or like... Uh, 
you know, Wigner. But yeah, I think it was Wigner. Anyway, the um, I can't remember his first name, but he studied. Basically, it's like what radiation does to metal uh, and things like that, like the the structure of what ha- how it's affected molec- on a molecular level by radiation. And what happens is radiation actually causes everything on, out across the scale, everything, the human body, building materials like concrete or steel. It it breaks down. Okay, now obviously we know some of the effects of what it does to the human body. But I bet you a lot of people don't realize that it affects metal, causes early metal fatigue. Uh, you have a, you know, it can affect concrete, other building materials. So she told me about this. And at first I was like, eh, come on. Because, you know, you could have planes falling out of the sky. You could have Ferris wheels breaking. You could have like construction sites collapsing and things like that. And that's what she was telling me. And I was like, well, is it that dramatic? Oh, yes. Because it, 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 what it'll do is it'll weaken the metal. And then the metal just, you know, once it reaches its fatigue point, boom, it just snaps. And then there's some catastrophic failure. Whoa. So she was telling me all this stuff. And I was like, and she said, look, there's accidents. And she showed me evidence. Not that I didn't believe her, but I was just like, okay. But as soon as Christina opened my eyes to it, all of a sudden, like I started noticing that there's accidents at amusement parks where stuff is just snapping. In France, there was one of these bungee things, right? With those thick-ass cables where if you're in that round uh, little cage and they take you up and they slingshot you back and forth in the thing. Well, one of those steel cables snapped. Dude, what a ride, huh? Right? Well, it it, it looked crazy. And and a lot of this stuff is starting to happen, so I'm paying attention. There's Ferris wheels breaking. There's... And all it, it doesn't have to affect the entire structure at once. It only has to, you know, you only need one small thing to break to have a catastrophic failure. So usually it's like a 50 cent part that breaks and kills, you know, 150 people. I was going to say, normally it's some of those shady friggin' carnivals, those roving carnivals. Well, okay, now picture, that's a perfect example. Picture one of those roving car- carnivals, right? And, and picture that they already don't take care of their crap. Now picture this, the because there's higher levels of radiation not only from all the atomic weapons testing, but Fukushima and, and or either could, you know, uh, numerous other things that could cause it. But let, let, let's say Fukushima itself, right? Just, just that, plus all the, the radiation in the air from bomb testing over the years. That could, you know, the effect that that has on metal, it, it's aging it much faster. I mean, when you start, when you understand this and then you start to go look at our infrastructure, you're like, wow. You have to wonder how much of that is natural progression and how much of it has been sped up by the exposure to this radiation. Of of that radiation actually contributes to that. I don't know, you know? Well, that, uh, Is that even measured? That's what this Wigner event, uh, effect is really like. It, and, and Christina is the one that's brought it to the, the forefront. Like, Because this, this studying uh, was done by them on the effects that nuke or radiation had on... Um, building materials and stuff back in like the 50s during the, the time of the nuke testing you know uh, heyday they know this they've known this for like 50 or 60 years look i started paying attention just i guess in the back of my head looking like noticing things and just since she told me about it i've noticed plane crashes helicopter uh-huh. crashes i mean dude coast guard choppers going down uh marine corps ospreys which okay they crash because they're known to kill marines but <clears throat> still. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, I know. the uh, that, that, But still, the, the, one of those went down. Small planes are crashing. Big planes are crashing. There was a stunt plane the other day that was doing a stunt, and the tail ripped off, and the guy in the middle of the guy doing the stunt, and it crashed, and he was killed. Wow. The death at an air show, I think, in New York or something. There was, a, there was a, a crash at an air show in the U.K. Like, you start to see this. You're like, holy crap. And it's all, it's, it's always structural failure. Something. So here's a question. Does solar radiation apply for that as well? If it's high levels, I'm, I, I, I believe it could. Because think about what, what just the sun does to material. Say like plastic. You know, if you have plastic exposed to sunlight over time, it dulls it and then it makes it brittle. And then eventually, you know, it just falls apart. So it's just it's interesting because, you know, the sun does a lot of that too. And consequently, you know, our magnetic field is at its weakest that it's been in a long time. And so you have that component of it as well. That's, I think, compounding issues. Well, even if it's not the only one, it's like force multipliers. No, that's what I'm saying. That it, it, yeah, it, there's we're being bombarded. It's, so, yeah, it's amazing. Dude, it's ridiculous. And then not only does it affect like building materials, but then radiation, they also know that radiation affects the mental, literally the mental stability of people. It, it literally 
can like cause no impulse control, things like that. And where, where are they located? All over the... This is the part. This is the, the scary part. It's all over the world. Not only is it here in the United States, I mean, it's all over the United States, but you also have it all over the world. You have to remember, Fukushima is putting this huge plume of radiation into the atmosphere, and Hold on, wait, jets wait, wait, wait. flying through this stuff. You like said concrete, control. it weakens concrete, right? It can, yeah, it weakens all that stuff. It, it okay, so, so what's the sarcophagus it. around Chernobyl? What's that made of? Oh, yeah, it's it's breaking down. They need to make a new one. Oh, I don't oh that's, think, yeah, I don't that's think, not good. Yeah, I don't think people realize this, okay? And, and this, again, credit goes to Christina, because she's the one that, like, would sit and listen to me pick her brain for hours and just she's she's the one that really has given me the in-depth ed education onto the things that i you know didn't understand none no containers none none can withhold radiation they don't have anything on the planet currently that can hold it in without breaking down over the course of time including all those containers that are holding all of that radioactive water in the tank farm over at fukushima which oh by the way there's a spike in radiation. It was like, I think she said it was like 400 and something becquerels, and now it's up to like 40,000 becquerels over the course of like three days. So something is leaking over is at- Is that it? Yeah, something's leaking over at the food. My microwave puts out more than that, come on. Yeah, well, that's what apparent, <laughs> that's, that's what most Americans would think. I mean, they don't even understand- Exactly, they don't have any- Dude, because how are you supposed to know? Yeah, it's real You know simple. what I mean? It, it, it's, well, you have to do the research, but it, it's real simple. Just look at what's going on on the West Coast. And by the way, if they wanted to know what was going on in the West Coast, again, to quote Christina, test the effing plankton, unquote. Okay? If you test the plankton, they know, they've known since the 50s, another thing that they did research on, and I did, I talked about this on the show, where they've known that it bioaccumulates in, in plankton, like a thousand times uh, what it normally does in other things. And what eats plankton? A lot of the sea life. So what happens if they're eating uh, irradiated like radiated plankton well then like tuna have their eyeballs falling out oh. oh 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 but what do you see happening to whales and sea life oh they, their eyeballs are falling out oh so what did christina say oh that's right Test she said that specifically quote yeah. this is to to quote uh rad chick herself quote their eyeballs will fall out unquote well um, dude <laughs> She, she called this a very long yeah. time ago. Mm -hmm. She said that it, I, I've made mention of it. I've talked about this before. Loren Murray has. All, the, uh, all these different people have, Kevin Blanche, all these different activists have come out, and all the other Fukushima activists who I haven't named, Miss Milky. Everybody's it's an extinction level event. Yeah, but really nobody, is. nobody wants to talk about that. No. Here's the worst of shit. It's slowly of. killing the planet. That's what it is. You know?